Want a better blended smoothie you can make at home? Layering ingredients the right way helps your blender emulsify and work at peak performance. Follow along as we stack a blender for a smoother smoothie. The idea is to create a steady moving vortex. Start with one cup of milk, water, coffee, or whatever liquid you prefer. Next, add vitamin-rich leafy greens, or some herbs. You want them as close to the blades as possible so the stringy fibers break down and liquefy. On top of the greens, add nuts and seeds. Because they're harder, they need closer access to the blades to get pulverized. But if you put them in first, they'll settle underneath the blades and can get stuck. Next layer is for your softer foods like yogurt, tofu, or nut butter. Next up, fresh fruits and veggies. Unlike stringy greens and herbs, fresh veggies and fruits liquefy fast. They also add a nice buffer between your top layer, which is any frozen fruit you like. Think of your frozens as flavored ice cubes. They can add flavor and froth, but limit them to about one cup. A mixture that's too cold can create an air pocket over the blades and interrupt blending. If anything gets stuck or clogged, lower your speed to get your vortex back on track. For a total traffic jam, stop the blender and use a blender stick or spatula to tamp down the ingredients. Once you've got a good free-flowing vortex going, you can add in any protein powders, fibers, or the like. If it's too thin or watery, try adding a few ice cubes to get a frostier, frothier drink. Our experts say it's hard to overblend a smoothie, so keep it going to get the texture you want and enjoy. For more tips on blenders or access to our exclusive blender ratings, go to cr.org slash blenders.